Well, you asked about the internet and about technology in general. Of course, this has been a tremendous explosion in my career. Uh, we went from very little of this to now almost being overwhelmed by it. It's, it's a great boon to us. We use it for teaching, we use it for learning. Um, our patients, of course, see a lot of stuff on the internet and come in with a lot of uh, information that they've, they have gleaned from the internet. Unfortunately, it's a double-edged sword because uh, some of the stuff that they've got is really pretty awful without any scientific basis. Uh, they, they're not trained as bright as they might be in their own fields. These people are not trained with uh, what is statistically significant and what isn't, what makes for a scientifically valid study. And so we have a lot of people bring things in that they have seen that sound good. And also, unfortunately, a lot of the stuff on the internet is self-serving. You might find someone who, in the guise of education, has a website up and he's telling you all about hernias or gallbladders or tumors or whatever, and really, it's really a, a, an advertisement to get patients. So um, you have to take a lot of that with a grain of salt, but uh, like anything else, it's subject to abuse, but it's overall a, a huge uh, and a very important uh, part of medicine now.